Hi guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while since I've shown you a haul from the Dollar Tree um, because I was super busy. I have been taking a course at the university and I just finally finished and guys, I passed, I got my A, woohoo, yeah. Uh, I mean, I do have my master's, but I had to take an additional course just to um, keep updated and it was kind of required that I take a course so I had no choice which is unfortunate and for those wondering I had to pay for the course out of my own pocket so no freebies there and I had to make sure I passed because I paid for it um but I'm really really happy about that and so finally I got to go and do some shopping at the Dollar Tree as you can see now that finals is over and I passed and all of this stuff I got between two days, guys. I was surprised. They had a lot of cool stuff. Like, this was really, really pretty. I like that. And I love these little coloring books. Gosh, I got a lot of stuff, guys. I got a huge haul, at least huge for me, considering that I haven't done a huge haul from them in a long time. So let's get started, and let me go ahead and show you all this cool stuff I got. So the first two items that I purchased are these squishy rubber bands. And as you can see, they came with bonus three no damage elastics. So I had to get it. For some reason, I feel like I'm getting a better deal just because I got the bonus three elastics. And so I picked up two of them. And I don't know if you're like me, but for some reason, I feel like I'm always losing these. Like I buy a bunch and I know, well, those of you who've seen my video from before, um, the beginning of the school year. I bought a bunch of these and they're gone Like I have just a few now and I don't know what's going on with them I don't know if it's because I take them off and throw them in my bag after school after work or if I'm throwing them in just random Bags I don't know drawers, but they go quick or it could be because my daughter uses them too I don't know, but we go through these like nothing. I have no idea where they disappear to. It's kind of like those disappearing socks where you have them and then you can't find the one side. Well, I have these disappearing elastics. It's like, oh my gosh. In case you're wondering, these come with 18 pieces per pack. So that should be good for a while. Next up, I decided to go ahead and buy these Fashion Nails by Sassy and Chic. And I liked the look of these. I love that really pretty light pastel blue. But it's not so light, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just right. And I think those flowers are really pretty. They almost remind me of um, cherry blossoms, but in a light blue color. So I think that is super pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the blue ones. I'm gonna have to figure out if I'm daring enough to use the white ones with the flowers. Maybe just on one nail, I don't know, we'll see, but I know my daughter will take them if I don't use the rest. And then I picked up these over here and I know it looks like it's kind of black, but it's not that dark really. It's more of a really, oh gosh. You see how it looks kind of purple, dark purple? It's a little bit lighter than that. I don't know why it looks so black in here. It is not, trust me, you can tell it looks like a dark, and so I got a total of two packs each just in case the sizes don't fit or in case I mess one up. At least I'll have extras, right? Next up, I got these Bolero items. And I got this um, pure bath soap in lavender and chamomile. It says relaxing. And I haven't ever used this before because the ones I bought during Christmas, there were different scents. I gave them away. I mean, I kept um, one or two items and then um, it was so long ago. It was before Christmas, so I don't remember very much about it. How funny is that? And then I have the body oil and this is something I did not get to keep for myself because I gave away the ones that I had. And so I never got to try it, but I love lavender and chamomile, so I am keeping this for myself. And finally, I got one more of these um, body oils, and I got this in coconut and mango because I love coconuts. I love the scent too, isn't that funny? So I went ahead and got that. It's coconut and mango. So here are the three items I got. There was a lot more um, different scents out there. I can't remember what they were, but I remember there were like really pretty packages. I think, I think there was something with lime in there, and... 
I can't remember what else, but I know there was one with lime. I know the packaging was like a light, pretty pastel yellow and green. And I think there was a pink too. Oh, I should have got the pink. I think the pink was some kind of rose scent. So next up is this giant diamond. And how cute is that? How adorable. It's like really crystal like rainbowy when you just move it side to side how pretty and my daughter wants it so it's hers i'm pretty sure i got one of these before but we can't find it i don't know maybe i gave it away by accident or something or maybe i have no idea and guys take a look i know this is old but i was able to find two of these jillian michaels one says extreme shed and shred 45 minute workouts there's two of them in there and this one here says beginner shred there's three 20 minute beginner workouts so for sure i'm going to start with this here till i get used to it i haven't worked out in a long time i admit it so i need this and then after that I will move on to this. Who knows? It might take me a couple months, guys, because trust me, it's been a while since I worked out. Then I found these clear rubber stamps, and I just thought they were so pretty, so I went ahead and got them. And these remind me of the ones I saw at Michael's. I remember seeing them sometime last year and really, really wanting them, but they were more, so I just didn't get them. Okay, so here are the first three, and the first one looks like this. Let's see if there's a name. There's no name. It just says there's 12 pieces, and you get this top one here. I like that it reminds me of stained glass the way it is, and then you get the different little stamps on the bottom, like a dragonfly, flowers, rainbow, some words. It says... Wish you were here. Good day, sunshine. You make me smile. Now, I don't know if these were the same ones like the ones at Michael's, but they were pretty close, so I'm glad I got them. The next one here has 11 pieces, and it's a tree and sunshine. And then there's another little block there that looks like a little house with flowers and some words. You are amazing, so kind, beautiful blooming marvelous looks just like that the third one looks like this there are seven pieces and this just looks like tulips and butterflies here's another one with more types of flowers they look like wildflowers and little flowers right there on the side and the bottom says life with you is good so that's the third one. And here is a fourth and fifth. I thought I had more, but oh well. And this one here is a bird on a branch. And on the bottom, birds on flowers and butterflies. And then they say things like good times, love ya. There's little insects. Thinking of you, for you. What else? With much love, just a little note to say so really cute stuff and the last oh that had 15 pieces and the last one has seven pieces and again this one has flowers and butterflies and the same thing flowers butterflies and these flowers look like hearts and a big flower little one branch and it says i'm so grateful and with heartfelt thanks so that is a fit. Oh, here they are. All five of them. I think there were more. I have no idea. I think um, there could be. But here's all five that I got. And I am really excited to go ahead and use them and play with them. I figure I'm just going to use it with black ink and then color them in. How fun is that? Really cute. Um, Do you guys use rubber stamps? Do you? Let me know. I'm just curious. Because I know a lot of people, they just do things online nowadays. And... <laughs> Some people don't craft anymore because it's just so easy to craft online, you know, with all of the electronic stuff and just, you know, making and drawing things online and then printing it that way. So I'm just curious, anybody else do crafts at home, like handmade stuff? Let me know. Next up, I found these inspired coloring books and they're adult coloring books and I got Ocean, 
nature patterns, travel, and flowers. Okay, so here's the ocean one right there. You can see what the front looks like. So here's some of the ocean. You can kind of see, get an idea. I think that one's kind of nice. This next one is the nature one right here. This is different because there's a lot of green already done for you, already colored in. So that's that's something I don't know. If you like that, fine, but some people might not like it because they might want to, you know what I mean, use colors that they like. This one is called Pattern, so it looks like this. It's just random pattern. This one has the coloring on the inside, and as you can see, it's like all of this kind of teal color. This one says travel and this has gold already in there. So I think I don't mind the gold because it's kind of a bit more neutral than the teal. I think I'll be good with the gold. And here's the last one. This is the flowers one. This one has purple. Okay, so not too bad, but wow, that purple is definitely strong. So here are the five books I got. Flowers, Ocean, Nature, Patterns, and Travel. But now I'm thinking, wow, I don't know if I'm going to like some of them. Um, Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm going to like all of them, guys. I might give some to my students or give some away to my friends. Yep. I am unsure about this. Oh, why didn't I look inside? And finally, the last piece I got and my most favorite find is this container right here. It says Fleurs and Planter. And I like it because previously I had purchased some of the succulents from the Dollar Tree and I needed something to put it in. And I was going to pay a little more and buy something from Hobby Lobby. But I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to use this. And guys, it looks amazing with the succulents. Let me go ahead and show you how I plan to do it. Okay, so I realized I did not buy any of that green foam stuff that goes inside. So bear with me. I'm going to do this with newspaper just so you can see what I'm planning to do. I got this about a what a month ago maybe month and a half probably a month ago and they have new ones because I saw them but I just didn't pick them up because I had to see how this worked first so guys a dollar succulents they are so cool and if you're looking for them they have different ones but not the same like this they're a little bigger which I think will be really nice okay guys are you ready here it is and oh my gosh how amazing does that look i know it's not perfect because i have newspaper in there okay you probably can't see it but i left the tags on some of the stems as well because i was just rushing to throw this in and it looks good for something done like in like 30 seconds it looks adorable oh my gosh i love it i think it'll look really pretty for my spring decor look and with my ray done. I think it'll look so nice. Wow, all of this was from the Dollar Tree. So the, um, so this little container here was a dollar. I got eight stems and they're a dollar each. So I paid $9 and I got all of this done. I think it looks amazing. Now I gotta pay another dollar or two to get that green foam in the bottom because it will bug me that I can't really get the stems to stand the way I want. So with the foam, it'll definitely look a lot nicer and arranged, but the way it is now is, it looks good. You can tell it looks amazing. So here's a look at everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this is between two different days. And oh, wow, I am so excited. I can't believe I got all this stuff, um, but it was worth it. The only thing I didn't get um, in the past two days are these succulents which I bought before but again they do have new ones out so definitely be on the lookout for those they're really pretty by the, the way. only thing I'm unsure of are the coloring books right there because I don't know if I'm going to actually use all of them especially now that I know that some of these have really strong colors I'm not sure how I feel about that but I am in love with the planter right there um am I gonna start working out guys really I had better I have an incentive right there to look like that summer's coming up gosh and I do not look like that I'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> but here's everything I got and not bad for 
two-day haul. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I hope you like my channel. I hope you subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.